hello students welcome back to jj's physics class i hope that all of you are doing very well in the last class we have discussed about motion the motion can be also described by words but as you know that physics is a mathematical science the underlying concepts and principles have a mathematical basis the mathematical quantities that are used to describe the motion of an object can be divided into two categories the quantity is either a scalar or a vector the two categories can be distinguished from one another by their distinct definitions during this session we will focus on several examples of scalar and vector quantities so let us start what are scalar quantities scalar quantities are fully described by a magnitude or a numerical value alone for example as you can see here 5 meter long so here 5 indicating the magnitude of this quantity another example 15 meter per second meter per second indicating the speed so 15 is nothing but the magnitude here scalar quantities change when their magnitude changes scalar quantities examples are distance speed time power energy next is vector quantities what are vector quantities for example as you can see here the person is having a starting point that is at zero point then he started moving 2 meter 4 meter 6 meter 8 meter and 10 meter the last class we have learned how to calculate the displacement total displacement is nothing but the final position minus the initial position so here the initial position as we know that it is zero so let us find out what is the final position so the final position is 6 meter and the initial position is 0 meter. So the total displacement is what? Final position minus initial position that gives you 6 meter. But in which direction he has moved? From 0 meter to 6 meter that is to the right. We have measured the displacement here that is 6 meter to the right. So here. 6 meter is indicating the magnitude and right is indicating the direction. Vector quantities that are fully described by both a magnitude and a direction. As you can see here, 5 meter east. So 5 meter is its magnitude, east describe its direction. For example, 5 meter east and 15 meter per second at 30 degree to the horizontal are both vector quantities here the magnitudes are 5 meter and 15 meter per second and the directions are here east and 30 degree to the horizontal are representing the direction vector quantities change when their magnitude changes their direction changes their magnitude and direction changes vector quantities examples are displacement velocity acceleration force weight momentum etc so how to draw a vector a vector is drawn as an arrow with a head and a tail so here the length gives the magnitude and arrow is indicating the direction so this portion we call it as tail and this portion we call it as head and arrow points the direction and this length gives the magnitude. I already mentioned that the magnitude of the vector is often described by the length of the arrow. The arrow points in the direction of the vector. How to write a vector? So usually vector quantities are written in bold face letters. It can be capital letter or small letter. So acceleration can be written with a small letter A and with arrow mark on the top of that and 
force can be written like this with an arrow mark. So vectors are generally written as bold face letters as you have seen here. A vector's magnitude or a length is indicated by magnitude v or simply v. If I write acceleration a as vector like this, but what is the magnitude of this acceleration? It is simply magnitude a. Simply I write a that also gives the magnitude. If a vector represents the quantity in a single direction like x direction or y direction, then the quantity is written as the number with positive or negative in front of it. So we can call it as positive vector or a negative vector. The positive sign indicating the direction of quantity in the right or up direction, but the negative sign indicating that the vector quantity is in left or down direction. Scalar quantity is 5 meter long, vector quantity is 5 meter east. So here displacement is a vector quantity but distance is a scalar quantity. Another example here the car is moving at 45 km per hour but speed is a scalar. In this picture it has a direction that is at 40 degree to the horizontal. So here the direction also included. So let us go through some examples of scalar or vector quantities. First example, the football player was running 11 miles an hour towards the end zone. Is it a scalar or a vector? So it is a vector quantity because 11 miles an hour towards the end zone. So the direction is specified here, 11 miles indicating the magnitude. Another example. The volume of the box at the west side of the building is 10 cubic feet. Is it a scalar or a vector quantity? Here the question is little bit tricky, right? As you can see that the box at the west side. So here somewhat they have mentioned about the direction. But the volume is definitely a scalar. It has nothing to do with the direction of this building. The answer is. It is a scalar quantity. Next is the temperature of the room was 14 degrees Celsius. Definitely the temperature doesn't have any direction. So it is a scalar. Next question is the car accelerated north at a rate of 5 meter per second square. Clearly it is a vector quantity because it is mentioned that the car accelerated north at a rate of 5 meter per second. So direction is given here and magnitude is 5 meter per second. So it is a vector quantity. So what are the difference between scalar and vector quantities? The scalar quantity is defined as the quantity that has only magnitude but no directions. But vector quantity comprises of both magnitude and directions. The scalar quantity is only one dimensional but vector quantity is multi-dimensional. Scalar quantity changes if its magnitude changes but vector quantity changes when the magnitude or direction or both change. Examples of scalar quantities mass, volume, charge, speed, time and electric potential. Some examples of vector quantities are displacement, velocity, force and acceleration. Find out some more. Thank you students.